Hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Allie here with Paradise Spheres. Welcome back, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us How back. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're yeah. good. We're very uh, feeling very comfortable on this incredibly comfortable couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure which <laughs> camera to look at, so <laughs> I'm just jumping between them. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is your fourth show here. Yeah. Uh, Our third show third that actually happened. Stage we show, played yeah. outside once. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's we true. We count it because you guys did a little set out on the stoop. Yeah, the yeah. It was very cold. I remember not being able to cold. feel my hands. It yeah, really but it was terrible. It's hard to play guitar with no feeling in your I hands. believe you were on one of the security guards' backs. Yeah, things, yeah. So I didn't see you. you had like a megaphone at one yeah. point? Yeah, it, it comforts me to know that people still think about that <laughs> and talk about that because yeah. I felt like a really good moment in my life. Um, I'm also really, it also comforted me to know that he was so cool about it because I feel like a lot of people would be like, I didn't tell him I was going to. I just, <laughs> jumped, just up jumped up on his up back. On yeah. <laughs> and he, he was nice about it. There's a picture. I've seen it. There's a picture floating around of it yeah. that is one of my favorites. I've seen that, yeah. I'll probably eventually like kind of get it. Get it framed in a house that I live in someday, <laughs> I think. That's actually my picture. Oh, I have, you yeah. took that picture? Yep. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No nice. way. Wow. <laughs> well. Small world. Right yeah, here. yeah. So I, I should have told you I'm going to get a print of it because <laughs> yeah, now you're going to you you <laughs> charge me <laughs> for no, it. No, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you guys are out on the Live Forever tour. Mm -hmm. yes. um, how did you guys get together with the bands you're currently out with? So we were putting together, talking about support for the tour, and uh, a lot of it kind of came back to, you know, the, there's not quite as many bands that sound like us as there used to be. So I think what that's done is it's there's a kind of a smaller community of, like, acts touring within this genre. And so William Beckett, who is on the whole tour, was over with us in the U.K., and uh, so we had to meet him there, and we loved, loved his set. We love him as a person. He's just an incredible, like, creator and person. So we... Uh, we uh, we talked to him about doing the tour, and then Hollywood ending. We've known those guys for four, probably four years now. Yeah, yeah, pretty much as long as we've been doing music. We've yeah. been, you know, hanging out with Hollywood ending. So they're super, super nice guys, and uh, it's been cool to watch their career kind of evolve to a bunch of different things yeah. into mm -hmm. what it is now. And uh, we've been talking about touring together for a very long time, and it ended up, you know, the stars aligned sometimes, and yeah. the, the timing just works out perfect. Mm -hmm. And then let's talk about Battle Scars Acoustic. Uh, why did you guys decide to re-release that as an acoustic? Um, I think, I don't know, it, it kind of showcased a different side of our band, I think. It kind of allowed us to be more creative with the songs as they already were. I think that was very cool. Yeah, and I cool think we're big fans of, like, the acoustic music, when you strip away a lot of the elements, lets you be a little bit more kind of free-flowing and ultimately personal with the songs. Like, you get to feel all of the things that are happening musically. And I think because we write songs with the intention of being connective, they're able to, you know, be connective in a different way and a lot of times a better way if you know it's so much so much less is happening with yeah. the production it's so much more just about like you know the song the and the connection the you make with it yeah and was there a specific reason why you threw landslide on there because fleetwood mac is yeah. awesome <laughs> because every album because i'm trying to end with I'm landslide yeah, exactly. because <laughs> yeah because anyone who's not playing fleetwood or landslide <laughs> by fleetwood mac is not anybody wasting their to. time <laughs> as a musician <laughs> no it's a really really great song and um yeah i'm trying to date stevie nicks so <laughs> has been for a while too. yeah it's yeah uh, she doesn't return any of my calls we'll work on it you'll work on it you'll get there <laughs> you'll, you'll work on <laughs> yeah, it i'll work, work on, on it. it yeah you you'll probably won't we'll yeah. yeah. we'll stay out of it yeah, yeah. if you ever Wait, if, if you ever bring them if they come through yeah exactly i'll, then for you. I'll work on it and they're playing the ballroom i'll i'll go ahead and i'll do the interview okay there you go good plan um, and then your new single, uh, You To Believe In. What is that song about? Uh, well, it was written, um, so it's kind of, I, 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 for, I drew lyrical inspiration from a song that I had heard previously by an artist called Sting, who wrote this amazing song 20, 30 years ago called If I Ever Lose My Faith In You. And I thought it was really cool because he talked about all these like very macro issues and problems with the world. And he talked about how he was able to see himself through those problems by having something so micro in his life that like, you know, basically said, if I ever lose my faith in you, I'll have nothing left to lose. You know, this is, you are what I've got to kind of pull me through. And I thought about that and there, are, you know, are a couple of relationships in my life, one in particular that I was thinking about at the time of writing the song that really did like, I, you know, we, we I think we, I kind of went through a, period where I was very, you know, disengaged with the world and very disappointed with a lot of these state of affairs in the world and I felt overwhelmed by them and like I couldn't, you know, there was nothing that I could do out that would be it wouldn't be just a shout into the void mm -hmm. so to speak and um, but then I realized that the, what makes it worth it in those times and what makes it what makes being a human being still remarkable even in times of macro chaos is the micro relationship yeah. that you get to have with people. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. 
Uh, it's about a girl. It's about <laughs> yeah. It's about liking a girl. Like let's <laughs> let's be like le- yeah. Let's not let's not like you know make it, it not what it is. It's not a philosophy book. It's a song about a girl. <laughs> That's a much That's more inspiring problem. answer than yeah, you gave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am so, so... Am I allowed to swear? I'm so full of shit sometimes. <laughs> I, I think if there's one thing I've learned in my life, it is how to make stuff up and sound smarter than I am. <laughs> well, you did. You sounded, you sounded very good there. Thank um, you. And how did Paradise Fears form? Um, we all went to high school together, actually. Okay. So, in the small town of Vermilion, South Dakota. Yeah, we were sixth grade <laughs> rivals. Both played the alto saxophone. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sat like two rows, or two seats across. Yeah, the yeah. Rosie Ahmed right in the middle <laughs> of yeah. us, just feeling all the tension. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then there by the time so we got, by the time our schools, that was when we were in separate schools, by the time our schools merged, we were like, hey, we like each other, and we both like Taking Back Sunday, so maybe we should play some Taking Back Sunday songs. Or <laughs> yeah. We, and then Jordan, who is now our guitar player, invited us to play at a school talent show. We learned How to Save a Life by the Fray, and... The rest is history. <laughs> yeah, that was eight years ago. <laughs> that is Isn't unbelievable. Isn't that crazy to think about? That was eight Holy years crap. ago. So after the Live Forever tour finishes up, what's next for Paradise Fears? Um, we've got a couple of things in motion. We have a record that's like in the works, and we're kind of building steam towards an early 2015 release. We just signed with a label out of Nashville called Digson, um, who we're working on new music with. So that's really, really exciting because mm-hmm. you know they've kind of, more so than any label previous, been like, hey, we like what you guys do. Keep doing it. We're gonna help you with it and make sure that it's as good as it can be. Yeah. And uh, that's about the best Pretty thing I can say to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got that. So le- a lot of really exciting things are kind of in motion. No mm-hmm. touring plans exactly exactly hashed out mm-hmm. yet, but you know it's still kind of kinda being kicked around for the album. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, after you release the album, I'm sure you'll tour. You'll have to come back here and see if the ghost likes it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Have to run it by exactly. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Cole's pretty sure he met the ghost of the rave. I think one I time. met him. The power went out that one time, mm-hmm. and we kind of went exploring because we wanted to. We were being rebels. <laughs> and we went upstairs, and some guy just popped out of the shadows, and he's like, who's there? <laughs> and we're like, um, we we're playing here tonight. We just went to investigate. And he came over and talked to us for, like, probably ten minutes. Really nice guy. Don't Never got his name. Really tall? Was he no, really tall and skinny? No, he's a normal-sized guy. Hmm. Nothing remarkable about mm-hmm. him. But then he just disappeared. <laughs> he just, like, walked into the shadows again, and we didn't hear a door open. So we're like, where did he go? <laughs> I think he's a ghost. You think he's a ghost? He's a ghost. <laughs> well, maybe you guys have met the ghost of the rave. <laughs> Never know. Maybe. 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 <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, we'll then live to tell the tale. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Of course. Your show. Thank you, you so much us. for having yeah. us. And thank you for watching the Rave TV. Be sure to check out Paradise Fear's current album, Battle Scars Acoustic. We'll see you soon on the Rave TV. Thank you. Thank you so of much. course. Thank you.